Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm so glad you had a chance to check on back in with me here at Operation RV. Hey guys, on this episode, uh, what I got going on today is uh, an interesting how-to and also another customization I'll be doing here to Blue. So right above me is what I'll actually uh, be working on today and it's the dome light, the interior dome light. Uh, so if you'd like to go ahead and check on how I get this done and see the new uh, After Effect of Blue and getting his upgrades and restoring, Look no further and stick around. All right, so what we're looking at here is the, the door plunger. So when you go to close the door and this part of the door jam shuts against this, it pushes this in and essentially breaks the circuit here and allows the light to come off. So let me go back over here. When you go to open your door, whether or not it's the driver or passenger, your dome light also comes on. I'm having issues, as you can tell, there's some rigging up there that I had to do to get my dome light work, uh, working. Uh, this housing here, it's just shot, it's brittle. Literally, I'll touch it and it'll fall apart. It's that old. Uh, you know, being 43, 44 years old, this close to the heat on, the, on top of this cab has just heat soaked this plastic and made everything brittle. Uh, what else is nice too, uh, over here on your headlights, when you go to turn them on or just leave them like this, you have your accessory light. So when you click that, and uh, to click it on, your dome light will will actually cl click on. So that's what's cool. So real quick, guys, here are the uh, the parts list that I got from LMC. Uh, this is the actual housing. That's the part number. Uh, this is going to be the bulb, of course, and the clear uh, lens bezel. I went ahead and did an unboxing of this, and here's the new one. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Nice chrome, and it's gonna get a new uh, addition here next to this cl uh, the chrome trim, so. All right, let's get this installed. All right, so I went ahead and took off my um, my panel here, my flag, or you call the, the roof skin or whichever. And um, so this wire here actually runs down and connects to this bolt here and activates as the power. The other side of the light is pretty much screwed into um, the metal here and acts as a ground, so that completes the circuit. So right now with my, do my door ajar right here, let me pan back over here. When the light, or when the door shuts, the light goes off. And when the uh, door comes back on, or opens up, it acts as your dome light. So real quick, what I want to do is I'm going to shut my door now. All right. It's now activated that now it's off. Okay. So now when you want to come over here to your accessories, which is here, your headlights and turn it to the left, it turns it on, you know, for like a map light to read maps um, on or off, on, off, on. But that is it, guys. I'm glad you got a chance to follow along on this uh, little simple one here. Uh, it's just these little things in life that really count, you know, especially when you're at night and it's time to, to get in your vehicle and you have no lights. So this is a huge success for Baloo. Uh, extremely happy in how this turned out. Uh, the chrome accents on the bezel here matches the chrome that uh, wraps around the headliner. So truly happy. Uh, thanks again uh, for tuning back in, guys, and please uh, continue to subscribe, comment, and uh, always like. And until next time, God bless.